If you're going into industry, there's a lot of help with getting industrial placements. We have a placements officer, so she advertises all the placements that are available to us and helps with our applications, helps with preparing for interviews, and we also have a careers advisor. Warwick are really good for careers fairs, especially the chemistry department. They like to bring in alumni from the past and they will explain what their current job is and it's so diverse as well. There's also the URSS summer placement where you can get hands-on experience in the research research labs. You can also get involved with ChemSoc. The outreach program gives free science teaching to primary schools and secondary schools within the area of Warwickshire and Coventry. It's a really interesting program because you go into primary schools where children have never had a science lesson before and for you to walk in in your lab coat and your glasses and they look at you and they're like wow this is so exciting and people have been like wow this is the best science lesson ever and you're like wow. <laughs> That's amazing. But at the same time you are socialising with the other students and meeting people that want to learn the skills that you want to learn, so teaching skills and public speaking skills. It's taught me all sorts of planning skills and it's just a great opportunity to give something back. I feel like when I came here I wasn't that confident and now doing outreach and having to go into a school and like talk to 30 children, do a demonstration in front of like 120 children, I'm like yeah I could probably talk to anyone now. We get them doing some mini research experiments so it gives them a flavour of research, then that gets up to year two. They do a bit more investigation in the experiments they're doing, and in year three it should be more of a mini project. And this sets them up, firstly, they do a year four master's project. That's a two-term research project that no one's ever done before and should be novel in a research group here. And then if they go on to do chemistry as a career, either in academia or in industry, that's really good prep for that. We've done some coding, which I think is important because in terms of jobs now, it's something that people are always looking for because it's quite a current thing. We're moving towards a more versatile job sector, so we need to match that to the skills that we're gaining here, which I think we definitely are. A fair number of the students that we have today will go on to do some sort of research in their masters or whether they go on to do a PhD. And for the non-chemists that we've got in there today, the ones that won't go on to do any particular chemistry, it shows their ability to use new bits of software. So they'll be picking up this software for the first time and within a matter of four or five hours in the lab today, they'll be pretty good at it towards the end. I would say my confidence has really grown since starting at Warwick. I think that they've thrown me into scenarios where I've really had to think on my feet and really had to gain an appreciation for my own skills and my own skill set. I also think that I've learned a great deal in communication, so to communicate my ideas to others and to work effectively in a group and communicate in that way. I think that Warwick really gives you the kind of environment that you need to grow and all those skill sets that you really need in your future career, you really, really get a grip on. Every time you have an assignment, every time they put you at a task, they're really looking for you to work on those skills. And I think that environment is really good at enhancing that so that you can really pledge and get into your career aspiration, really put those skills to test.